What is going on? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I seriously appreciate you tuning in today. We are back here with my 2006 a Nissan 350Z. And as you saw from the title of this video, we are doing a one year PCV valve review. So about a year ago in October, I actually changed the PCV valve. It's been about a year or 11 months. So I figured I'd go in there and check it out, see how it's doing. If you guys do end up ordering the Amazon PCV valve, the Beck only one, is it gonna work a year later? I have even gone out like three months in. I'm not actually sure, but we're gonna find out right now. So let's pop the hood. Can I pop my hood? It, it like makes the click sound, but nothing happens. You like move it a little bit and it like pops open, so. All right, so here we are. All right, so right here is the PCV valve. So if you're not familiar with the PCV valve, it is the positive crankcase ventilation valve. So pretty much as your engine is running, it's creating pressure inside. So as your engine is running, your PCV valve is basically the one-way valve that lets pressure escape back into here. Also what that does is it carries a whole bunch of like oil and fumes and stuff. So basically instead of sending it out into the atmosphere basically to keep emissions under wraps, they send it back into the engine to be reburned. So a lot of times what happens is the PCV valve will be plugged and the ball valve inside it gets kind of stuck and it won't work anymore and because the pressure can't escape you have this positive pressure built up so basically all of your seals and all of your o-rings and everything have this pressure pushing against them which can cause premature oil leaks and oil seepage and stuff like that so that's why we're here today we're gonna check it out see how it's doing if the ball valve still sounds like it's good to go if it seems like it's working uh, it should be releasing all of that built up pressure back into the motor and we should be doing we should be good so let's get to checking that. So like I said, the PCV valve is right here. It's, as you can tell, mine's actually held on by these zip ties and it runs into here. And these zip ties aren't actually held on by really anything. So we can actually just pull this off right now. Go this side first. All right, there it is. That's the tube. So looking inside, it still looks pretty clear, which is good. It was clear last year when we checked it. So, so now that the PCV valve is exposed, there's quite a bit of oil around it. So I'm kind of interested to see if it's actually working or not. So what we're using here is a 15th, 16th half inch drive to pull this out. So the valve cover that this is plugged into is plastic. So when you're tightening it up at the end, don't tighten it too tight whatsoever, or you might end up breaking it or cracking it. You should be able to just take it out by hand. There it is, PCV valve. All right, as you can tell, all this oil flying everywhere. As you can tell, it's still working. It's still working. Last year when we opened up the old one, it was not making this sound. So who knows how long it was in there. Let me see, do I have a rag? Ew. All right, there it is. And you can tell the O-ring on here is still intact. My hands are all purple from the grapes I was pressing yesterday. Don't mind those. All right, so that's pretty cool. Put it back in, hand tight. We're gonna tighten this just barely hand tight. I do not want to crack the valve cover underneath. All right, I'm gonna say that's good. And then lastly, we clean this up here. Should be good to go. Oh, got it. Second one, pop that on there. There it is. PCV valve has been changed and fixed. I mean, basically, if you're looking to change your PCV valve, it's that simple. And if you're looking to fix it, it is that simple. The best part about this is I'll be back in here in literally a few days. I got the coolest oil catch can that's gonna be sitting right here. I cannot wait for you to see it. That video will be coming out this week, hopefully. One thing I was noticing the other day, I was looking in here to see if it would be possible to put the oil catch can, and I'm actually missing these three bolts that hold my, my hydraulic steering fluid reservoir. And there's there's literally just none here. So I don't know if, I wanna say there was a zip tie holding this on somewhere, like there, but I don't, I don't see one. And then that is like randomly cracked. I don't even know. I need these three bolts because the catch can, it, it actually bolts on right here as well. So that's one thing I need to get. In the meantime, it's gonna look so good. That oil catch can, it's, it's got everything you'd want. It even has a drain plug, so we'll be able to just run the tube down the bottom, open it up with a cup underneath, and just drain all the nasty oil that it's caught, and then put it back inside the motor. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, there it is. Let's make sure everything's good. I always, I'm always checking things, you know, connections, making sure they're secure. You know, I'm not gonna lie, one time I was driving and this thing came completely off. So I don't know if the guy just that owned it before didn't tighten it all the way, but it has not happened since, so we're good. All right, we're chilling. 
All right, so not the longest video, but I hope you learned something. You can go out there and check your PCV valve right now. If you have a 350Z or you have an Infiniti G35, I guarantee you have a PCV valve in your car right now. Definitely important to keep an eye on that because of the fact how much of the pressure inside the engine bay plays a part on oil leaks and seepage and stuff. So go outside and check it today if you can. If it's not bouncing around, if that little ball sound is not bouncing around that ball valve in there, definitely time to order a brand new one. Beck Arnley on Amazon. It was only 10 bucks, which I think was a great deal. You can get them OEM from Z1 Motorsports for 20. And then I think the O-ring was an extra $5. So Amazon with the O-ring for 10 bucks, I thought was a great deal. And it seems like it's still working pretty well. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit the thumbs up button if you did. Drop a subscribe if you haven't yet already. I post videos like this all the time with my 350Z. Anyways, thank you once again so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.